Good morning, welcome to day four of Maria's vlog. I just got some breakfast, so now it's time to go to work. Let's go. So, welcome to my office. Time for coffee. Very important in the morning for some brain power. I have an uh, experiment going on and now I have to put something downstairs for my experiment. Okay, so this is a muffle oven, which basically we use to get riv rid of all organic material that might be in glassware. So in the case, in my case, I put this, I set this up to 500 degrees. And then it stays for a couple of hours at 500 degrees and everything that is organic with carbon is gone. So now it's time for lunch and I'm gonna go buy a sandwich. Myself a wrap. I think I saw this. Mm -hmm. Miguel is teaching us about fish. In a, in a line, straight. it's also one of these. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. It's quite difficult to recognize it, I think. Between and this. They are cool. Yeah. yeah. What you doing, Maria? This is my bench. It's a bit messy because I'm preparing a lot of things at the moment. I'm giving a course in the end of May and I'm preparing for the course. I have to prepare for a cruise. And of course, I have the ongoing lab work. Someone preparing for a cruise? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> she is going on a cruise in... In July. In so July. Yes, it's gonna be one month cruise. Yeah, from... From Panama to Cape Verde. We are not sure, but we go to Cariaco Basin. So now Chia has to pack all her stuff in these things, in yes. these containers. Yes. This is where we pack all our things when we have to go on cruises or when we have to go on uh, field work. Yes. These and boxes are very stable. Yes. See, all the yeah, stuff. All the stuff. <laughs> Chia is actually doing a very interesting work. Yeah. She is um, studying how pressure affects the activity of microorganisms in the deep ocean yeah she has a very fancy uh equipment. equipment and she can study she can measure the activity of the microorganisms in the deep ocean itself so it's there it's there i can show where here here about this it's, it's called it. ismi ah ah there yeah super fancy material the water goes in here? Yes, like uh, water comes here. They are fixation bottles. This, So they, we have another bottle for incubation and then water can incubate under water. And then after a few hours or eight hours, 10 hours, depending on your topic, this can go, water can, the incubated water can come through and then fixed in this bottle. So you need a lot of time actually to okay. work with this. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool because people are not really sure how pressure affects yeah, the activity might. of microorganisms because we always have to measure it on the surface. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we never know how different it is. Yes, a lot of people tried till now, but still. It's a mystery. Mm. Chia will solve the mystery. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so. <I'm not> sure. <laughs> you will. <laughs> I'm making a tour of the lab. Ah, okay. <laughs> Here is the chemical lab. Here is fume hoods. This is where we, when we use toxic stuff, we work under here so that if there's toxic fumes coming out, they all go up. So security first, security above all. And so here is all kind of things. Here are where we store chemicals, scales, where we do some 
scaling. Scaling. Yeah. Microbiology lab. So these are benches from people. It's very late. That's why there's not many people here. So yeah, this is uh, an instrument that I use a lot. You use it to count cells, bacteria, for instance. The centrifuge, to centrifuge things. So this is the molecular lab. This is where I normally work for more time. So here is my bench, which I already showed, and it's a big mess. And here's more benches, and uh, here's a lot of instruments that do a lot of cool stuff. I cannot tell you what all these instruments do, because otherwise I would never stop talking. Clean hoods, where when we have to deal with DNA and stuff, we work under these hoods. So there's like UV light, so before you work with them, you always have to turn on the UV light, which is under here. It's under there, you have to believe me. Uh, and we sterilize everything, and once you wait, have to wait for half an hour, one hour, depends what you are doing, and then you can finally work. Hopefully, you have no DNA contamination. And these are our freezers, where all our valuable samples are. These are minus 80, so generally, minus 80 is the ideal temperature to conserve DNA samples or, yeah, water samples because even minus 20 sometimes is enough for it to degrade if you leave it there for many for a long time so yeah that's why we have so big minus 80 freezers we are a lot of people and we need a lot of space Woof! it's not easy to make a tour of the lab <laughs> there's so many things to talk about <laughs> yeah it's big here we have the seminar room where we have our seminars and it's also the kitchen where we eat Here's the coffee machine, very important asset to our lab. Yeah, so for today the tour is over, but I will, maybe next days I will have more time to show you a bit more of my work. I, I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, this lab tour. Super amazing sunset today. I guess this means it's time to go home. It's already 8. I generally do not stay until so long, but I have a lot of things. I'm in the middle of a lot of things at the moment. I'm organizing a lot of different things, which is kind of my fault because I always think that I can do everything. And then I'm always caught in the middle of doing a lot of different things at the same time, which one of this, them is actually doing this vlog, but that's just me. I never learn. I finally managed to get my plots done, which was what my goal for today. So now I will go home. This is it. I just came home. I finished editing the video. Now I just need to add this section, which I'm actually filming exactly just now. And then I might just finish reading something that I started reading at work. And then I'm just gonna relax and read a bit. I'm gonna read my manga. Yeah, because I do read manga now, especially now that I'm trying to learn German. I decided that I wanted to do so by reading comic books in German because even if I don't really understand what they're saying, I still have the drawings to help me understand. So I started reading manga because I really like anime. I like anime since I'm a little kid, started with Dragon Ball and never stopped. So I thought, well, maybe I like manga as well. And well, I really do like manga as well. So uh, yeah, this is it. This was uh, just a little side note. Uh, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed the little tour that I did of the lab today. There's so much more that I could tell you and so much more I could show you. Uh, our group works in many different things. I will also not elaborate on that today because the video was already quite long, but maybe one of the next days I will explain to you a bit better what our group actually works on. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope that I, tomorrow I can show you a bit more. Have a good night or a good day and see you tomorrow, ocean people. See you.